So this is a little early for a follow-up video on the, the new printer I'm working with, the Ender 7, but I want to show you something. This is my pad I showed off before briefly. This took about a day to print. This is a slightly different version, but essentially the same pad. It took six and a half hours to print everything. Greetings, Dave here, DCPFX. I want to just do sort of an interim, it's not even at, at the point where it's a follow-up video, it's sort of an interim follow-up, just because this thing is just, it's, it's blowing my mind. So I've shown this before, this is the, the pad I made, this is the one that has electronics, I'm not going to turn them on because I need to charge the battery. But basically, this was a really fun thing to make and, you know, I, I enjoy putting it together. But the thing is, now I'm playing with the Ender 7. For those who don't know, this is basically, this is three pieces. So this is the top piece, and then the middle piece there, and then the back. I printed this at 0.12 millimeter layers. That's basically what the Ender 7 calls super fine. If I did that on my regular CR10 V2, this top piece would be six and a half hours to print at that quality at about 35% infill. This entire thing took six and a half hours. Not just the top piece, the entire thing. So here it is up close. Now granted this is white on bright lights, you're not gonna see it all, but this is one piece, second piece, third piece, and then all the little pieces in here, like the little LEDs and the buttons, six and a half hours. This thing is blazing fast and the quality is really good. Now I still need to resin smooth this because there are still a few lines. It's a little bit of, you know, around the edges and just working with a new slicer and that's how it goes. I may see what I can do by getting it working in Cura rather than using the, uh, the slicer that came with it. But all in all, phenomenal. So if you're looking for high quality and speed, I think this is a, this is a good one. Um, there's a lot of people asking me, you know, about this, and, and you know, um, I'm getting some comments, I'm getting some messages sent to me. Um, yeah, yeah, and for the price point, which I think is around the $800 range, this is a phenomenally fast printer. So I just want to do a quick, real simple interim video on that. So far, I'm impressed with the speed of this thing. Obviously, a lot more things to print, a lot more things to hammer out to see what's going on, but it just blows my mind that would normally take a day, six and a half hours. And you know, it, it's, there's no issues with it. You know, once I got it leveled, it had a little problems getting it leveled up after that, but now that it's there, everything just goes and it print, go, 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 go. Uh, still allows I'll get out, but uh, what do you expect we're going that fast? So that's all I want to say for right now. That's the video for today, just talking about that. It's called this, not even my, you know, my, my first thoughts on this is like in interim, not even this is a pre first thoughts. This is, uh, well, so I'm going to finish this and make it into a static one. So I'll have another pad kicking around because, well, you can't have too many pads kicking around. So that's all I want to talk about today. I hope everyone's having a great day and we'll talk to you all later.